I suffer from depression. He said that his mind used to always be racing. Schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression. What do those things really mean? Twenty-one percent of African Americans, twenty-five percent, in any one year are likely to have mental health problems. And that's very much the same for almost all of the other populations, with very little in the way of difference. Adam was just always extraordinary, but he just still seemed like he was angry. I thought maybe it might have been drugs or just, you know, he might have started hanging around with the wrong crowd. The more it progressed, he started getting more, like, violent. African-American families have as much problems with mental illness and mental health problems as anybody else does, but they don't access services at the same rate, maybe half the rate of what other populations do. There's a very strong stigma. Even when I get, you know, having my bad days or whatever, you don't think about, oh my goodness, going to a psychiatrist or getting on meds. We feel it as a, a weakness. That stigma, in some respects, is associated with how African Americans get into the formal mental health system, and that's usually through the police. He got into a fight with a couple of police officers, and so he wound up going to jail, and so they went ahead and ran diagnosis on him. Come to find out and everything, he was bipolar. Mental illness is very often what I would call like a, a silent illness. It's like glaucoma, in a way. You don't really know sometimes whether you have it until the symptoms become sometimes so severe. These are families in which members of the family rarely, if ever, are able to reach their potential. I became homeless, lack of job, feeling inadequate because I didn't have a way out. I went to the shack and I started getting help. They offered me a job and I stayed there. So I've been there ever since. And I've been off the streets for about two years now. ATC MHMR took me as a client and started showing him what was actually going on in his head and stuff and got him on the medication. He called me and I realized there was like a, a difference. There was something, he was happy. <laughs> this problem of mental illness in terms of its comfortness really hasn't reached the African American community nearly to the extent that we would like. Maybe over the next five to 10 years, Maybe with more conferences like we hold in, uh, in Austin, uh, there might be a change. When he went to the conference and saw everyone else that was there and all the different subjects they had on talking about mental health and in the black community, it really freed him up a lot. Oh, the first conference I went to, oh, that was so wonderful. I loved it. So the more information we can get out, the more we can talk about it in settings like churches or community centers, uh, barbershops, beauty shops. I think that'll make a, a bigger difference in terms of people being willing to acknowledge it and to access the services.